Welcome back, people. We've got some more Fishing Planet for you guys here again today. We are doing Genta Exploration 1. I'm not going to pronounce the rest of it. I'm just going to say Genta. <laughs> uh, yeah, so in the Netherlands, I've already trekked it. We have to travel to here. We're going to catch the common bream, idle, European perch, common roach, and round gobby. Now, I'm pretty sure I did this before on PS4. Um, I did this mission, but I haven't actually got a mission of it on the on our YouTube channel. So I'm doing it again this mission, and I'm going to show you um, me doing this mission on PC. It will still work the same whether you're on Xbox or PS4 or PC. It will still you'll still be able to catch the fish. So anyway, I'm going to get set up here. This is the location where we're fishing, just over here to the left where you can see my guy. I'm going to click go fishing. I'm going to start early hours in the morning, 5 a.m. as normal. I'm going to cast out. I jumped to day three because the first couple of days were rainy days. And I don't think, yeah, I think on a rainy day it's going to be a bit slower. So just because of that, I did jump forward a little bit. So I'm using different baits. Always keep an eye on the top right of what bait I'm using. Always keep an eye on the hook as well. And obviously the time and the day and all that kind of good stuff is all on the screen there for you guys to see it. So I'm using all different types of baits. I'm only going to be casting probably anything between um, 70 foot at the most, but anything from like 70 feet, 60 feet, even 50 feet. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to need to cast out too far, just because they are small little fish. Anytime we do live streams, I use face cam and mic. Anytime I make videos like this, I just use the mic. I don't bother setting up the face cams. Quite time consuming. These videos always turn out to be the best videos I've ever made. If I remember rightly, when I fished in here last time, it was, I think I had more action on the bottom rods compared to me using the the float rod. I'm pretty sure I did, but I'm going to put the float rod out as well anyway. It's probably going to keep on dragging to the right quite a bit because there is quite a bit of a flow there as I can see. Let's just reel it in a little bit. There we go. Oh yeah, that's really going to drag over to the right. So we ain't going to need big hooks for this one at all. Because this one is uh, all small fish. We've done all the missions all across Fishing Planet. You can check them all out. This one is just one that I haven't got on the channel. So I've added it. Here we have our first fish on. Let's see if it's one that we need. I'm pretty sure it's going to be. Let's have a look. This is on the pale barley. Okay, there's our first fish. Young common bream. Normally I do make some cuts and edits into the videos to obviously to speed things up, but depending on how long this takes, I might not actually be able, might not have to actually make any edits because I'm catching them pretty quick. So there's the second one that we need, common roach. That was on the blood worms, hash six. Now we got another one on here. Wow. <laughs> well, yeah, some of these explorations are really good because some of them. Sometimes, okay, we've already got that. Sometimes it does take a while. Sometimes it does take a short minute. And then other times you can do it so fast. It's like insanely how quick, yeah, it's insanely quick how, how fast you can get these done. And for the fact that you get some free cash from it and the odd bait coins and the odd free gift, it's always worth doing these missions just to help you out. You can never have enough bait coins. I use the bait coins normally. For when I'm live streaming, I use bait coins so I can jump forward each day because I fish the sunny days. I've noticed um, you can catch fish on the cloudy days and rainy days in some lakes, but for the most of it, sunny days always seem to be the best in most in, in most of the lakes anyway. So that's why I always try fishing the sunny days. This day is a sunny and cloudy. I think it'd be all right. Yeah, the float rod I don't think is going to work too well in here. Because we're just going to have to keep on repositioning it all the time. So I don't think it's going to go too well. So anyway, red worms, hash eight. There you go. There's another one that we needed. <clears throat> I honestly could get away with um, not making an edit into this. I really don't know. I'm not going to let it run on too long. We'll wait and see. If I, if I have to make an edit, then I will. I don't want to drag it out too long. Again, 60 foot seems to be good. If you are interested in Fishing Planet, don't forget to subscribe, turn notifications on. When you hit the notification bell, make sure it says all. As soon as updates come out on Fishing Planet, I'm downloading just as it's almost installed. I then start up a live stream. My internet speed is pretty quick, so it doesn't take me long to download these updates. And I'm it, it straight away, I'm instantly showing you new lakes, new rods, new reels, new tackle. Um, 
whatever Fishing Planet has to offer, as soon as them updates come out, I let you know about them updates coming out. And then obviously I then buy the DLC so we can get into that lake and show you all the new gear. We've done all the missions all on the newest lakes right back to the very beginning of the lower end lakes as well. So, oh wow, we actually got a bit of interest here on the float. I wonder if it's actually going to go off though. I don't think it's going to because it's just flowing way, way too much to the right. It's moving too quick. Nah, lost interest. Yeah, bottom rods is definitely the best way to go for this mission. Okay, here we go. Fish on. Is it a fish that we need? That's the question. Young common bream. Yeah, I think I am going to have to make an edit. <laughs> I was hoping to get lucky. I was hoping. Sometimes I, I can actually do that. It depends. Sometimes it's better than other days. Let's have a look, see if this is one that we need. So this is on blood worms. Okay, we've already got that one. I've noticed that I'm sort of fishing a little bit. Okay, Bream Master. There you go, there's another bait coin. I've noticed that I'm fishing, it looks almost a little bit to the right there. But that's alright, still 60 foot just in front of me. I'm going to stick with that. So sometimes when you do these missions, sometimes you do have to change place, change location and move around to catch certain fish. That's just the way it works. Sometimes you're lucky and you can catch them all in the same place, but most of the time, for the little ones you can normally catch all in the same place, but most of the time you do have to move around from one spot to another. So do bear that in mind. If you're doing these missions, you do have to move around and you are going to need lots of types of different baits as well because obviously to catch that certain fish okay I've waffled on enough I was hoping that I was going to get it done without making an edit but don't look like it so I'll bring you guys back when we get our next fish on some more interest Let's have a look see if this is the fish that we're after so I put on mayflies and a chance to get the um, the idol oh wow actually <laughs> there we go I literally only just put those mayflies on as well so there we go, that's that. So the last one we need is the European Perch. I'll bring you guys back when I get it on. Fish on, let's have a look, see if this is it. So using red worms to get that European Perch. There it is, perfect. So 60 foot I cast just in front of me for all of those fish. So that was pretty good. So there we have it, again, uh, Netherlands mission has been complete i'm not gonna try and pronounce the rest of it but there we go exploration one we got some cash and bait coins we got some um some feeder there as well so that's pretty cool so the next one we're gonna do is exploration two so keep an eye out for that that's gonna be coming very very soon not long after this one hope this video did help you out if it did make sure you subscribe turn notifications on drop a like any comments leave it below in the comment section uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to more updates on Fishing Planet. As soon as them updates come out, you guys will be the first to see it, as long as you're subscribed. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I'm out.